my touch. Blood flowers, 12 bucks. And on my 23rd try, I finally tied my tie. Yes! Footloose the Musical was a very challenging experience for me, especially since, um, as Reverend Moore, I was really the one character that had the dramatic shift towards the end, going from no, they're not allowed to dance, and I'm carrying, you know, the weight of having, you know, lost my own son in, you know, the accident that caused the law to uh, go in place, um, and then becoming the person that allows this to happen, that goes, I think this would be a great idea, and trying to lead a community into a better future was really the most challenging part of it. Being a part of Footloose was great because this is my last uh, musical in high school. I started my freshman year with Beauty and the Beast, and I've done all of the ones leading up to now Footloose, and it's a bittersweet moment graduating and moving on to bigger and better things, but also not being a part of it anymore. Being able to go on stage and be someone completely different and that's not you, it's something very surreal and having to embody that character, getting that mindset that's not you, it's hard, but it's also challenging and a lot of fun. I'm talking hours upon hours of rehearsal, day after day, uh, five days a week. Um, it's a lot of work and a lot of effort to put in. We started out with our rehearsals in the black box, and then we moved into the PAC. And we had to adjust to them moving on and off the sets and just working around there. And the whole experience with the cast and crew was just really amazing. I liked being comedic relief. Like, I know that I'm not necessarily, like, the funniest person, but like the fact that I was able to say things and get laughs, like that was so great. <laughs> I really liked Cameron as Ren. He did an awesome job. He brought so much energy to it. Like during his solo song, I Can't Stand Still, I told him, each time you do that, I'm reminded that this is Footloose because he does it. So I just have so much fun backstage. We all do the dance moves with him backstage. I called the doctor, he said, son, I cannot offer you a pill. So I never found relief, and now I've got to move until I've had my fill. I can't stand still. Well, here we walk. Probably the scene that sticks out to me the most is the one where I sing a song, where I'm, I don't really sing it, it's more like a rap. So that's probably the scene that sticks out to me as far as the one that I'm in. I think Wesley, the guy who played Reverend Moore, did an amazing job. Um, every night watching him, I learned something new based on the way that he played that character. And you have all the answers, don't you? No, I don't. I'm just... And you're going to set me straight. I didn't say that. I don't just... presume what I have been through. You don't have a clue. Now, good night, Mr. McCormick. Please, if I could just say one Mr. more thing. Mr. McCormick, I would like to be alone. Sir, you already are. The thing I'm going to look back on from this production, I think, is how is how much I've grown uh, as an actress because I was this little shy person in freshman year, but now I, I, I realize how much I've become my own person with the year. Being a senior um, and going into this, I was thinking that this would be my last production. And um, because of this musical, I think that I might actually continue theater in college. Like I was really sad that I was gonna have to say goodbye to this experience and I just, I don't think that I can do that after this musical, it was, it was that awesome. I've met some of the most amazing people, uh, some of my closest friends, made some of the best memories over the past four months and the past four years. Getting to see everyone grow over that time and seeing myself grow as an actor, as a performer, and as a person, and everyone else, it's something unlike anything else. Really the thing I'm going to miss the most, you know, down the road is probably the sense of community. Um, we're just a fairly tight-knit group of people that, you know, no matter what happens, you know, you pick someone else up, move forward, you know, they'll drag you along too, right? It's like whatever, you know, no matter what day you're going through, it's always a pleasure for them to be around because it's just any day becomes brighter.